Oh, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another video. Now, I know what you're probably thinking, Jack, why is the tank not set up? I ran into some trouble, but we got it all figured out. So now tomorrow, I'm gonna set this thing up and that video will be up next week. So it will, I promise you guys, it will be my next video that I post on this channel. Now today, Chris and I, we're about to head down to Bass Pro Shops. It's early in the morning and uh, we're gonna go see what they got for us today. You know that vending machine, it's always, uh, it always gives us something good, you know? It's, it's the all reliable is what we like to call it. It's the all reliable. Let's hop in the car. Let's head down to Bass Pro Shops and see what we get today. Just when you thought it couldn't happen. I'll tell you what people, what can happen. Are you kidding me? Just when you thought it couldn't happen, Jack posting another fucking vending machine video, it's happening. Let's go see what they got for us today. Man, that's a big shack. All right, we're walking up to it right now. Let's see what they got on there. And uh, we've seen an expert only. That's the new one that's been on this vending machine recently. The expert only. So let's go see what they have today. You never know. It could, there could be nothing. Let's hope it's stock. Ladies and gentlemen, it's our second appearance at the vending machine, the infamous vending machine, the machine that literally is our damn livelihood. I got quarters here because uh, I'm a wreckhead like Chris. We're at the vending machine. We're gonna be buying a mystery fish today. If I know you guys were expecting to see the aquarium setup video, but I have not finished it yet. So you're gonna get this instead. I said, you know what? I'm letting the people down, but I know they love the vending machine. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wake up early. I'm gonna head down to the vending machine. And I'm gonna film it, baby. So we got quarters here because we came prepared to put some damn money in this machine. And uh, they don't have any night crawlers or shiners today. They have mystery fish, do not press, and expert only. Mystery fish, do not press, expert only. No crawlers, no night crawlers, no shiners. So let's deposit some money in here. It takes about 27 minutes. And then we're gonna get a fish and we're gonna head back to the house and we're gonna put it in our new aquarium. I'm stoked. Fish guy Chris has the fish camera guy, now. Chris here. Fish guy Jack to the moon, baby. Let's go. We're fucking. Better hop on board because this rocket's sailing to the damn moon. Like then safe, moon? after the moon, we go to Mars. Then after Mars, we go to fucking Pluto. Fuck no, all the Pluto's other not a planet, dude. But no, but that's why. We're gonna be different. We're gonna go straight to it. Let's do it. Mystery fish, baby. Mystery fish, baby. Let's get wow, it. Wow, that's let's big. Get it. She is big. All right, let's go. Ooh, there's a, there's a cackaroach. Look at the, look at the oh freaking cackaroach. There's a roach in there. There's a freaking cackaroach in the freaking machine. He's probably trying to eat all that the fish. That was probably a do not press. It escaped from the freaking thing. You're right. They were trying to freaking bamboozle us. Okay. Mystery fish. Let's head back to the cribbo and uh, let's see what we got in this bad boy. All right, we got our uh, we got our mystery fish. Now, one of these is for Barb's Buzz and we're still here. So don't think that I bought two, but we got one. Let's head back to the house. Let's hope there's something good in it. Let's hope it can go in my new aquarium. If not, I'll just put it where it needs to go. All right, everybody, before we go downstairs and open up our vending machine purchase, I just wanna talk and get some feedback from you guys about what should go into this tank, because tomorrow, I'm setting it up. It's a fact, I'm setting up. It will be my next video that I upload, so stay tuned for that. But what do you guys wanna see go in there? Now, I don't know what's in that vending machine little tote, whatever you wanna call it. I don't know what's in it. It could be salt water, it could be fresh water. I got my fingers crossed, it maybe can go into here, but if it can't, let me know down below what you guys wanna see. We already have the Snowy Oscar. I wanna get some peacocks, I wanna get, there's just a lot of stuff I wanna get that I don't know if I will be able to, if that makes any sense. I could even go out in the wild and catch something as long as it's legal for me to take. It can go right in that aquarium. Let me know down below, let's head downstairs and let's open this damn bucket. Look at all those fish in there. There's literally five of them and one starfish in this whole entire aquarium. Guys, what should we do? We're thinking about on the main channel, we're thinking about totally doing a revamp on everything in the tank room. We're talking, not get rid of all the tanks, but just completely restart, clean everything head to toe, and maybe remodel everything. Let us know what you think. That video is probably gonna come out on Barb's Buzzing about what we're gonna do. That's just a huge project that's gonna be in the works, so we might not see it anytime soon. But just know we're thinking about it, so maybe just between Fish Guy Jack and the and the team and the, the people on the rocket ship right now, because we're heading to the damn moon, Fish Guy Jack to the moon, maybe I'll keep it between us. And then I'll be like, guys, what do you think of this? And then be like, Jack, what a great idea. But really, it's just from you guys. But let's feed these guys. Because guess what? Fish have to eat in order to grow. Got a lemon peel angel and four clownfish. Time to feed. Eat up, everybody. Might look like a lot of food, but if you watch those things go to work, you won't see one pellet hit the damn sand. They eat it all. Fish are fed. Now it's time to open this bad boy up. I would call this a bucket. It holds water. I don't know. What would you call this? A cylinder? A, a cup? 
I don't know, but there's water in here. Let's open this thing up. I know you guys all have all been waiting for it. Let's see what's inside. <sighs> Fish paradise. What do you guys think of this view? Do you guys like sitting there? Because guess what? I freaking love it. Alrighty, here we go. The infamous mystery fish from the vending machine. What is it gonna be? Let me know down below what you think is inside here. Let me know if you think it's fresh or salt water. I'll give you a second, go down there and comment. And while you're down there, smash a like on this video if you're ready. Let's see what's inside this bad boy. This is my, this is my special, special technique to make sure that it's something good. You rub the top like this. Yo, yeah. Let's just hope. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna get first peeks. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at this. Look at how freaking small that Oscar is. Is that even an Oscar? There's a rack in there too. Oh my God, that is the world's smallest albino Oscar ever known to mankind. Are you kidding me? Now that works out because that can go into there and then it, the glacier, the snowy Oscar has a friend now. That's freaking awesome. And he can go into my room upstairs into my tank once it's all set up. That's freaking lit. Let's get him in his new aquarium. Let me know if you're stoked about that. Now we got a snowy Oscar and an albino Oscar already locked in, going in upstairs. Let me know what else you guys want to see down below that go to go in my tank upstairs because options are endless, people. Just keep it fresh water. You guys, I cannot believe the size of this Oscar. It's so small, the camera can hardly even focus on it. And there's a rack too. All right, let's get him inside this tank. This is a one-man show, guys, I'm sorry. Look at the size difference between the two of them. Glacier and somebody name him down below. Let's maybe call him like Hot Fire. I don't know. Glacier and Hot Fire. I think it's pretty sick. Look, they're boys. They're totally chilling. I cannot believe the size of that freaking Oscar. You guys said you wanted to see more of the fish. Well, I'm giving it to you. I'm giving you a play by play. Check this out. We got Snowy the Oscar. Definitely the heavyweight in this situation. Versus a lightweight Hot Fire. All right, I'm definitely getting a little out of control. I think you guys have heard enough from me. Stay tuned for next video. Make sure you subscribe with that notification bell on so you guys don't miss that. And uh, yeah, I'm freaking beyond stoked to set up that tank. I'm doing it tomorrow. I'm actually waking up first thing tomorrow and I'm setting it up. This video is being posted on Thursday. The same day you guys are seeing this, I will be setting up the tank. Get stoked about it. I hope you guys are excited. Hop on the damn rocket. Fish Guy Jack is taking everybody to the moon. Like I said earlier, then once we hit the moon, we're going to Mars, then after Mars, we're going straight to freaking Pluto because screw all the other planets. Let's go, let's go, let's be different. Let's just go straight to Pluto. It's not even a planet, I don't even know, but we'll be the first people. We'll be the first fish guys ever on Pluto. Smash the subscribe button. I love you guys so much. Thank you all for everything. This is not possible without you guys. I'll see you guys in that next video. Peace.